this is very exciting. Restoration Hardware just got here with the delivery of the dresser and I cannot wait. This is like the first piece of furniture we bought for our master bedroom. And I'm so excited. Ah, it's here. <laughs> that was, you, you, that was yeah. actually, I was pretty nervous, <laughs> but we did okay. Almost. <laughs> Almost. Almost. <laughs> wow, that looks great. I even ordered that color blind. I just went for it online. I was like, yep. Well, you didn't even check it out in the store? No, because it was on clearance and I was like, ah, screw it. Let's see. <laughs> no, I did see it on like um, on somebody's YouTube video, so I had a good idea. I was like, ah. Eh. Close enough. Okay, that's good. Oh, it looks so good. Yeah. It's here and it is so pretty. And I'm very happy with the color. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little nervous about the color of the wood because I did not see this piece online. I kind of just went for it when I found it on sale. I kind of figured it would work really well with what I'm going for, but it's so pretty. It's perfect. And it fits the wall, literally like it was made for it. And you guys will never believe this, but as they were coming through the um, hallway, they tilted it up on end to get it around the curve. And I am not kidding you when I say there was an, a millimeter, there was barely any room um, around the door frame. I w we were all just like <gasps> holding our breath, but it worked and it's here. So let's decorate it. So that is definitely a start. I can't even tell you guys how much better this looks here. Very happy with this piece. I do need to find another display cabinet to help with storage for like jewelry, purses, and things like that. So I'll get there, so that's where all this will go. So this is just a start, but I really do like this piece. That was a lucky find. <laughs> all right, I'm going to You love it, I can tell by your face. Oh, it's so much better. Oh, that's awesome. Doesn't that look so pretty? Yeah, that's awesome. <gasps> right? Oh, my God. Yeah, Isn't that great. gorgeous? That's awesome. Right. That looks really Don't we feel Oh, my gorgeous. God. It's beautiful. It feels like an adult piece. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Right? Yeah, that's really pretty. The color of it? Yeah, everything. I didn't even see the color. That was a blind buy. Really? Yeah, which is yeah, pretty nerve-wracking. It's beautiful. Right? Much better. Oh, oh so your good. room's beginning to look finished. It's getting there. You got to put a chair here or something? So what I'm thinking is, you know that big black arched cabinet? Yes. It comes in two sizes. I might get the bigger one, which will be a statement on that wall, but that's a big wall. Yeah. So that'll be for like our purses, right. jewelry boxes. And I was thinking, yes, a chair, a chair and something, but I'll show oh, you the... this is absolutely yeah. beautiful. It'll be so a perfect. statement there, but it would be really cool. Looks so. great, baby. Now for the fun part, we actually get to fill the dresser. I'm sure I'll reorganize this a few more times. I need to get organizers for the drawers as well, but I'm so excited. And Sawyer loved it and that made me really happy. Just a second ago, he was like, I really like the dresser you got. And I know that's silly, but I take a lot of pride in our home and I'm excited to make this home, well, I'm excited to make this house as much of a home as I did the last one. And we got that home almost there. And I'm excited to make this one. Yeah, it'll be good. I'm excited. This video is going to consist of getting a lot of random projects done around the house. Now that my mom and Tom are gone, we don't have any guests. Um, I just need to get this house in order, especially before the wedding. Like you should see my list of things to do around the house before the wedding in March. So uh, I'm going to start tackling that one thing at a time. I guess that's the only way to do it. 
Um, and I do, I know I've already mentioned this, but I do want to do like my deep cleans and my organizing videos like I always do. I just think it might be a little different this year. Um, I may incorporate it in different ways. Um, just kind of like as they come, like spaces that need to be organized. I don't think I'll get to the whole house like I normally do before the wedding. Um, we may revisit and <laughs> anyways, my brain's all over the place, but today's project is starting to organize the guest room closet. I started to tackle this and I definitely, we got somewhere, but my mom was in town, so half of her stuff was in there and now it's just a mess. So I'm gonna take a stab at it and just kind of see what I'm working with and what needs to go in there. And now that we have a guest bed, I have room to put things under. So I'm gonna utilize that with some under bed storage. So I'm just going to get after it, see what will work. And then to my point, revisiting the reorganizing later, probably after the wedding, um, I'll kind of have an idea of what I need to do. So I just gotta organize in general and then we can optimize the space. I think that's what I'm getting at. Organize, see what we're working with, and then we can optimize and make it better. Just to sum up that whole rant. I'm going to set up some underbed storage, like my sweats and random accessories or sweaters. Things that I don't wear very often but underneath the bed um, that I can access when I need it. So let's just get situated and see what we're working with and start organizing. So I've decided this closet is very hard <laughs> to show you guys what I'm dealing with, but I am going to do my best. Um, in fact, let me do this. Over here we have Sawyer's jackets and coats, ones that he wants to be able to access. We do have some over at Karen's as well. Down here we have all of his suits and dress shirts. I have all of my sweats in here right now, but I am going to reconfigure that and store them over here. These are all my purses, which I am hoping to get like a display cabinet, some type of like hutch or bookshelf, bookcase, something like that in our bedroom. Um, so I think that'll really help eliminate this closet or as much stuff that's in here. And then up here, I just have like travel bags, all of my accessories, hats, and things like that. Just kind of make it more functioning at the moment. I just need to organize up here, hang up some stuff, redo the sweats, and put things under the bed that I don't need to access. And I think we'll be, we'll be well on our way. So let's start with the sweats next. So I feel like I've made some progress in here. I have cleared most of the top shelf. I'm gonna work on that right now. And now we have the sweats here. We have hung up all of Sawyer's clothes and I have started to utilize underneath the bed next. But I do wanna pull down the Cricut box and see what I have in here and organize this. All right, then I put everything I need for my wedding, my dress boxes, my shoes, things like that. All right, so I'm almost done organizing in here. Um, it got dark because uh, we had a gentleman come and quote us for some sod for our backyard. But the last thing we're going to do is just put any random like accessories or things that I don't use very often that don't need to be in our bedroom or in this closet in one of these bins underneath the bed. And I'll figure out later, but at least all of my accessories like scarves and beanies and belts, things like that, um, are in one place, so we'll just start there. I definitely say we made some progress today. There's a lot of items that I was able to move from out from our dining room into here, and man, it feels good, it feels good. So let me show you guys what progress we made in that closet. Hi. <laughs> so it is not perfect, but there's a lot more room and it makes a lot more sense. So I would definitely consider that a win. This looks 
so much better and I feel like I know where things are now. Definitely need some clear containers and some better optimization, but off to a better start and things are making more sense and there's less things on my floor. <sighs> That's a win for today. All right, now I'm gonna go cook dinner for the family. I'm so excited. I went to Home Goods today and I ended up finding a mirror that'll work for this spot specifically. And it works out great because Karen, uh, Sawyer's mom, one of her girlfriends uh, was looking for a full length mirror. So perfect. So she'll be able to take this one and I can't wait to show you guys the one that I found at Home Goods. It's taller, it's wider, and it'll be really pretty in here. So much better, oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, so much better. Thanks, baby. Yay! That is so much better. That looks so much better. That's awesome. Yeah, that looks way better. The big difference. Yay, thank you. Oh yeah, that doesn't drive me nuts like the other one did. The other one hit just here. That was just short enough where it looked like it wasn't meant for it. No, I agree. It's a big difference. And I love the top of it. Yeah. That looks really nice. Yeah, that's more of what I wanted. Oh man. <laughs> These last few days have been good days, but a little stressful. We have a leak in our cement slab from our bathroom into our closet. So we have been dealing with plumbers the last few days, trying to figure out like what the best course of action is. And they're suggesting we need to repipe our whole house. Uh, and we walked through and they were telling me how many holes they had to make and how much repainting and how much like re-sheet rocking and I'm like, oh my gosh. So that felt a little stressful. So eventually that will have to be done. Um, we will have to handle this leak here soon. I think the soonest they can come out is like next week. So we have to turn the water on and off and we have a dehumidifier in our <laughs> closet. So. We've been dealing with that, um, but you know, that's part of owning a house and gotta love it. You know, you can't just call your apartment maintenance person and be like, come fix my leak. So anyways, um, it's all good. It's all being handled, but at first it felt a little stressful, um, especially when the plumber was like walking us through a house and explaining how it's all done. I'm like, that sounds messy to do before the wedding. So let's do that after. <laughs> so we're going to handle the leak next week and figure out the rest later. Anyways, um, I have a few fun things that I found yesterday. Um, I ran to a few like uh, thrift stores and vintage stores with Sawyer's mom and we found some little gems. So I wanted to show you guys what they look like and also see them for myself. And we got a new mirror for the bathroom. That's exciting. The first thing I wanted to share is this really cool end of bed blanket. It looks like almost like a tapestry, um, but it kind of looks like those old style of like woven blankets that everyone like used to have. But this piece is really unique um, and I'll explain why. So the tag actually says full slash queen. All right, backing up here. Whenever I go to vintage stores or um, thrift stores, I always check the bedding section, which in a way kind of sounds weird um, but you can find some really cool unique either throw blankets or quilts um, just to add like different textures add a little bit of old with like more of your modern style especially if you're more into like that traditional um almost vintage it's really cool to mix in with newer pieces of furniture so anyways i found some really cool quilts in the past so fast forward to this piece right here Karen went over to the bedding section and I saw her looking at something and I was like, oh, did she find something good? I was like, what is it? She's like, it's a queen bedspread or blanket. I was like, okay, cool. So we pull it out and this thing is not a queen. I don't know what it is really. Like this thing is huge. It is so long. So I actually think it's meant for the end of a bed, but it's not very wide. I have no idea what this thing is really for. All I know is it's kind of cool. It could be a really long table cloth. Nobody knows, but the patterns are so pretty. It has like some pinks and neutrals, but also has some like greens and more of a royal blue, which I normally don't decorate with, but they have some really cool like vintage imagery. I don't even know what you would call this but I just found this piece really unique and it was $20. So 
for the piece, for the sheer size, for the uniqueness. I thought it was worth the experiment um, of $20 to see what it actually looked like. So I'm gonna back it up and we're gonna test it out. I just couldn't understand what this piece was for unless it's meant to actually just go at the end of a bed. Like I'm not mad about it at all. It's not normally the colors I decorate with, but I like that it has like that vintage antique vibe to it with like the roses and the patterns. So I think it's kind of cool to mix up the look, but how interesting is that? So I don't know, that was kind of fun. I always like to mix up my bedding look. Like almost every time I switch my sheets, or wash my bedding, I um, switch the end blanket. I just think it's the easiest way to like refresh and revamp your look. And I love looking at the bed once it's made every week and just going, ooh, that's fun and different. So I like to mix it up. Sometimes I could do more of like a neutral cream plain blanket. Other times I switch it to a quilt. Now I have this, so it's just fun. Mix up your vibe every week. Why not, right? All right, for 20 bucks, that's really cool. Look how cool all these patterns are. They're very different, unique. There's maroon, greens, pinks, blues. I don't know, I just found it really pretty. This is the mirror, so it helped me bring it in yesterday. I feel like the look of it looks a little bit more unique. It kind of has more of like an antique vibe to it, but it's very crisp lines and I like that it is still an iron frame. It is black and I think it's about 39 inches wide by 78 tall. And my last mirror in here was 72. And it's amazing what that little bit extra does for the height. Like it really makes a difference in here. And it fits the wall perfectly. And it's a perfect statement. And yeah, I'm very happy I found it. And I just still can't believe the price of this. So that was a great find. Probably one of my favorites so far. Well, I have a lot. And I'm really happy with how this room is coming together with like the new bedspreads at the end, the new dresser, the new mirror. I found new nightstands, so those should be arriving soon. And yeah, now I just have to find something to go over the bed and some curtains <laughs> and we are well on our way but yeah and then i also found this oversized dough bowl at home goods as well it was 60 dollars, which i felt like was a pretty good price for the sheer size of this one um, i really liked the finish as well because um, all the other dough bowls i have are on the darker side um a lot darker tone so i liked the finish of this one plus i liked that it had a flat bottom so i could use it on a coffee table or I could use it as a centerpiece on like the kitchen table, something like that. So yeah, I just thought this one was a good addition to mix in with my uh, decor. Ooh, this could also work in our bathroom. I might mess with that and use this in between our sinks. That might be really nice as well. So, and then the last thing that I found yesterday was this entry table. Now, this wall is very small. It's pretty narrow because of the door and window. So finding a piece for this area has been a little difficult. I found another table, but it just didn't, didn't give the vibe that I wanted. And I like that this one is on like a pedestal, so it doesn't feel like you're walking into a solid piece of furniture. And I also like the finish. It just has a really elegant, what's the word? Refined? Yes, that was, <laughs> that's a really elegant and refined look to it. Um, again, with the shape of the table too. It just, it goes, I can't think. It just fits. It fits, am I right? But it's like, the other one like was up against the wall and it was like. Yeah, I don't know if I showed the other one, but it was almost like one of those half tables um, and it had only like three legs and it fit the wall, it just didn't give the look I wanted. So yeah, this gives like the vintage inspired, refined, elegant look that I was looking for. There it is. <laughs> Whew. All right, yeah, those were my finds yesterday. I'm very proud of them. The mirror, the table, the end of the bed thing, doable, all great. Very happy. Love when you go shopping and you actually find things. <sighs> so this is a very exciting moment. The nightstands that I ordered just arrived. Well, one of them. One is still in the mail, but I want to open this one up and see what it even looks like because I ordered it. And I want to know. It's kind of a little 
little smaller. I thought, but maybe not. Let's see. Get all this up. Okay, I actually, I'm really into these. They're a little shorter. Ooh. Wonder if they're too short. Hmm. They are shorter, but they are wider, which may feel nice and may not feel like you walk into them. So let's get them set up and just see. Also, we've been so used to like higher nightstands. Um, and this is a totally different look. I mean, think about it when I was measuring. I just measured the width and the depth. I did not measure the height. It didn't even dawn on me. So let's see what we got. Hey. So it's a few days later. I wanted to just kind of sit and stare at these. I know I kind of just like... Um, left you hanging when I set these up. I just, I really thought they were taller and it just kind of made me sad because they're literally perfect. I love the drawers, I love the feet, I love the color, I love the finish, just everything about it. I just need like one or two more drawers, you know? Like, <sighs> darn it, this is like so close. But something cool about these and the reason why I was like, yes, let's get them is they're actually a dupe of the Restoration Hardware Mason, Mason um, collection. And I never, it again, never dawned on me to check the height of the Restoration Hardware ones, which I almost ordered and I'm glad I didn't, or these because I just thought they were taller. Just, I assumed, and that's what happens. <laughs> um, but they're actually the same height, same width, same everything. So these are a direct dupe, um, and they're great. I just want a taller nightstand, especially since Maple started taking things off of my nightstand. Um, so that's not going to work. So anyways, that is the update on these. These are going back. They are great. So if you're looking for something like this, I will have them linked down below, but just not for us. I love the color though. Like it's, I think I'm more frustrated because like I really wanted these to work and I really wanted to find new nightstands, but just wasn't in the carts. And I thought I found some on Facebook marketplace, but they sold today. So we'll keep looking. That just means there's a better nightstand out there, right? Right. <laughs> On that note, I think I'm gonna end today's video. We got a lot of great pieces into the house. We found the dresser, the new like entry table, um, some new antique and like vintage items. So that was really fun. I feel like we got a lot done. I have a lot more coming up. And this weekend Sawyer actually leaves um, for his bachelor party, which I'm very excited for him. It's gonna be so fun. The guys went above and beyond. So very excited about that. But that means I get four days to myself to get tons done around the house. So I'm gonna take advantage of that and try to get as much home and wedding stuff done that I can while he's gone and just like power through. So I will be vlogging this weekend, getting more things done around the house, putting pieces of furniture together and hanging up curtains, all that jazz. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the new pieces that we brought in and just a casual, nice little vlog. Of course, I will link everything down below, but that is it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Yay, we put up curtains. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's like starting to feel like a home and that's just really special so yeah <laughs>